Hi, I'm Dana and today I'd like to share my latest haul with you and this is from um, actually from Saturday September 17th and um, oh and this is Sven right here <laughs> um, but first I'd like to thank all the subscribers oh yes and um, people who have liked the videos thank you so much I really really appreciate you all and also want to give a shout out to those who have left me comments and that is uh, Teresa, DeSanti, Judy, Gerda Thrift, Nequina, also known as Nicole, Amber, Rose, One Busy Mama to You, and Seiko. Thank you all so, so much. I really, really love hearing from you and snaps to you. Okay, um, and I just noticed that there's a huge fly that's <laughs> gonna, you know, uh, buzz around, so I'm sorry about that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. So I, um, this past weekend, uh, I went to my local Goodwill bins, and they charge a dollar fifty per item, and so I picked up 16 items uh, for $24 and um, I, this week I only went on Saturday so um, just 16 items but um, I tried to be really selective and you know only pick up what I thought were you know really great items so this is the first one it is a Dickies Dickies is the brand pair of overalls um, and they are in like new condition I believe they're they're men's overalls and it's a I think it's a size large or extra large uh, yeah extra large and so I went ahead and picked these up there it is Overalls tend to do really well, um, and if I don't decide to list them on Poshmark and eBay, um, you know I can go ahead and sell these at my local uh, buy sell trade store. I also picked up this Carhartt button up shirt, button down shirt. <laughs> it has the buttons at the collar here. And I really like this plaid. I thought it was a really nice plaid, nice colorway. Um, has the Carhartt patch on the pocket in the front. Size large. So when I see Carhartt, I will go ahead and pick it up. And this one is actually in really clean condition. Okay, what's this? Oh. This is just a Mountain Dew t-shirt and I thought it was really fun. It's modern, it's not vintage, but I thought um, that this is a fun one. It's a size extra large, so it's a great size. And if I don't sell it on my, in my store, I'll go ahead and take it to Buy Sell Trade Store, which is Crossroads. Um, actually, I take things to Crossroads and also another um, store called Anastasia's. And that one's close to um, UC Berkeley. Okay, also picked up this Thrasher t-shirt. I like to pick up Thrasher whenever I see it, it you know, either the t-shirts or the hoodies. And this is a size large. So, I don't know, lately I've been finding a lot of small and medium Thrasher t-shirt so you know happy with this little bit larger size so the um, the graphic is a little bit cracked but it's still in pretty good condition oh okay so here I was able to find a vintage the mountain t-shirt and it's Actually, this is like a suede um, label. Um, printed, dyed and printed in USA. So um, it has this really cool art. It's a dragon. 
and let's see it's also has I think it I think it's from the year 2000 so you know Y2K um, and you know I showed these showed this t-shirt to some of the vintage uh, pickers and they thought that this shirt was something that I could maybe even get I don't know 50 or 60 dollars for so we'll see but that was a good find <laughs> um, next is a free people top in this really pretty cream color has some really nice detail and it is a size small but very pretty flowy top and you know happy to find free people at the bins so here is a Gap 1969 pair of jeans this is the sexy boyfriend in a size 30 really cute pockets in the back the flap uh, snap pockets and sexy boyfriend this um, pair of jeans had pretty good sell-through rate so I went ahead and picked them up and you know Gap is a mall brand but um, the, the great thing about mall brands is lots of people know and trust the brand so you know while I might not get a lot of money for this I you know I'm hoping to get somewhere I don't know anywhere between 15 to 25 um, you know it does tend to sell you know fairly fast so happy with that pickup and then here is a denim jacket this is another gap um, but this one is vintage It is made in Hong Kong and it's almost like a blazer style um, little denim jacket size medium it has some stretch has these flat pockets in the front and um, it's in really great condition and since it's made in Hong Kong that tells me that it's vintage so happy with that pickup as well <laughs> let's see uh, let's see and then I was oh okay so I was next to another reseller and um, she asked me if I wanted this sweater and it's Athleta size small but it's this really beautiful color I really like this it's almost like a lavender blue light lavender blue in really great condition sort of a long oversized sweater with a nice generous cow neck and I'm just gonna check um, it's 80% wool and 20% cashmere so it's you know great material makeup and um, she asked me oh did you want you know did you want the sweater and so I said oh you know you don't want to keep it for yourself and she said no she she likes to pick up very funky unusual pieces and what she likes to do is you know sort of um, make them her own so she'll either um, embroider or somehow you know sew them in, in a different way so um, which is really cool so you know she she said here you can have this and <laughs> so thank you very much person um, and then maybe what I'll do oh yeah so anyways this was a great piece and you know happy to, you know to, to have this piece well I don't know what to say what is this so anyway so very happy that you know she handed this over okay and I thought maybe I'd take a moment to go through some of the comments um, that you guys sent 
and let's see. Hi, Heidi Santi. So good to hear from you. Uh, yes. Yeah, so she said that um, she was hi. The Sabika shoes and the white Patagonia jacket. Fire. <laughs> That was from my last haul, so yeah, thank you, DeSanti. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, and then, you know, I had asked her, um, like, oh, you know, um, do you remember the Sabika shoes? Because back when I was in high school, um, kind of like middle school and high school, um, they were, Sabika shoes were really popular. And um, so, you know, I'm from... Uh, a child of the 70s and 80s and so I just you know I didn't know what to Santi and she said oh hi Dana I grew up in New York I only remember platforms um, and she had never heard of Sabika shoes <laughs> so anyways um, yeah so I just didn't know if maybe Sabika came you know had a comeback or something like that but um, but anyways DeSanti thank you so much for your comment I really appreciate you and hi Judy yeah oh she said um, love the cat shirt so cute so here's the cat shirt it's hug life and um, yeah I, I love her <laughs> I think she's the cutest kitten and uh, yeah, so I wore this also. I, I just filmed um, my sold to ship video for the week. And so I thought, let me go ahead and, you know, do the haul video. So, um, you know, sporting the t-shirt for yet another video. Thank you, Judy. It was so good to hear from you. Thank you for your comment. And hi, Teresa. She said, what a great haul. Thank you so much. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time to write the comment. I really appreciate you. Uh, hi, Gieta Thrift. Oh, love the guest coat. Yeah. Thank you. If you use the keyword Penny Lane, um, you might get more eyes on it. And I think, um, yeah, thank you so much. I was, I was trying to remember the name, um, and Penny Lane... I think is one of the characters in that movie almost famous um, and she was well known for wearing like the coats with the shaggy um, lapels right <laughs> so yeah thank you so much I really appreciate your comment get a thrift and hi Nequina or hi Nicole so good to hear from you I'm gonna take a sip of coffee okay um okay so i'm gonna just read read this um i love your hauls i went to the bins in los angeles today for the first time in months i don't need the inventory but i was in the neighborhood so i had to stop in i'm glad i did i found johnny was three lululemon tops and a whole cart full of goodies wow <laughs> that is a great haul um, so it was surprisingly wasn't too crazy. I've sold one pair of Everlane men's jeans before. Okay, cool. Um, I was surprised and confused. Laugh out loud. Um, so I kind of wrote like, you know, I would love to go to the bins in LA. I think it would be really exciting and fun. Um, but I did hear that um, they're very competitive there. So, um, and she wrote back, and said, I think he would be a fun bins partner, laugh out loud. Um, there are the crazies, but I feel like it wasn't as crazy as in the past. Okay, well, that's great. Um, maybe just that specific day. Yeah, could be. Um, <laughs> I didn't get shoved and only had to wait about 30 minutes for a cart. So <laughs> that's good. Um, I was just impressed to find anything good at all with the experienced crowd there. Yeah. Oh, and I found an Olive and Alice blouse. I think, I haven't heard of that brand before, but um, that's something that I'll look for, you know, in the future. Um, I think I have enough inventory to keep me very busy until the end of the year. Um, but I would still like to hit up the bins again. Laugh out loud. Yeah. 
I I hear you on that because um, I am definitely I have a lot of inventory I have a, a, a big death pile which I'm weeding through um, I'm selling over at you know my buy sell uh, trade stores I'm trying to list everything um, I'm trying to be really selective on sourcing um, but you know that's that's what I love to do so um, anyways um, yeah this is great you had some really really great finds so um, thank you so much Nicole I really appreciate you thank you for your comment hi Amber oh my gosh it's so good to hear from you and um, let's see I'm gonna just read it um, hi Dana great haul video I had to step away from Poshmark for the last month um, we had a life-changing event so I hope it was a positive one <laughs> um, so I've been focusing on that I just got my Poshmark closet back up and running and we'll start sourcing next week yay it's nice to see that you're doing so well on whatnot and would love your preview videos oh and love your preview videos super cute I'm so happy to be getting back on track yes um, I will have to binge watch what I've missed and um, from you and a few other resellers I regularly watch I can't wait and to see what I've missed um, Amber thank you so much it was so good to hear from you and um, you know it's it's actually really really great to hear that you know you can jump off of reselling for a while take care of you know some events going in your life and then just you know get back into it again so um, you know please let us know how you're doing and you know would love to hear hear from you again so thank you so much Amber really appreciate you hi Rose how are you thank you so much for your comment um, let's see she said I think the dollar fifty per item price will be great for you right now yeah um, you know with the heavier items sweaters jeans and jackets tend to get heavy and she said she really loved the aria vest thank you I still haven't listed it so I need to get on that um, Oh, and oh, okay. Rose said, I usually bundle ties in one listing, especially if they're all the same brand. Um, thank you for that tip. I think I'll try that the next time. I had already photographed the ties, I had found like five uh, Brooks Brothers ties, so I photographed them all individually. So, um, and one sold so far, so you know, happy about that. But um, that's a good tip about bundling or lotting them together. Um, and so yeah have a great rest of the week everyone and thanks again for sharing oh, so good to hear from you Rose and thank you so much for your comment hey Mimi how you doing um, also known as salt flakes um, okay so Mimi lives in Florida we have a lot of resellers from Florida actually um, so her bins are about a half an hour away and she hasn't been since she found out there was a you know I feel like I might have mentioned this uh, comment before but she had mentioned that she um, has a family thrift center outlet um, and that's the uh, thrift store that Mackenzie likes to shop at and she's over in um, Texas right so anyways Mimi has a special senior half price day on Wednesday and so the age limit is 50 which is quite young actually and she's 51 so it's perfect yes thank you so much for your comment Mimi I really appreciate you uh, let's see hi one busy mama so good to hear from you she says hi Dana and Sven <laughs> Sven she says hello <laughs> um let's see oh she said love your positive reinforcement with Sven so nice to see yeah I think he was barking along with um, Cindy who's uh, the Chihuahua across the street so um, anyways 
he's a pretty good listener, you know, um, which is great. He's a, he's a great boy and a great companion. So let's see. Uh, the Patagonia, yeah, it's incredible. It, that Patagonia fleece jacket was white and it had, it was in great shape. So it is kind of amazing that it doesn't get damaged. Oh, um, thank you. So she says that I'm, uh, I'm absolutely rocking the gray, the gray hair. <laughs> Thank you so much. I um, I only mentioned this because you had commented you're trying something new to grow out your natural um, hair and it looks beautiful. Um, thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, it's, you know, my hair is, I, I'm so self-conscious about the gray, but I thought I'd give it a try and, you know, see how it how it is and you know I keep going back and forth like oh should I just go ahead and you know color it um, but um, you know I it's almost out and you know it the upkeep is nothing you know when you stop dyeing your hair whereas when I was dyeing it it you know, I had to constantly do it. So it was kind of high maintenance. So anyways, um, so thank you so much. I really, really appreciate <laughs> your comment and um, hope you're doing well. Okay, let me just see. Oh, okay. And then, um, hi Seiko. Thank you so much for your comment. Okay, so Seiko mentioned um, the Free People CP Shades collab. Um, always brings attention and she thinks that it's not a men's shirt so that's good to know I'll definitely look it up um, that she doesn't think either um, either brand makes men's wear yeah I didn't think so either um, but the reason why I thought it was men's is because the buttons were on the right side um, you know but um, she said she saw a, a, a woman modeling the um, modeling the shirt so I'm gonna go ahead and look that up too and um, you know it's always good to see the stock photos so thank you so much Seiko it was so good to hear from you and thank you for your comment okay so anyways thank you everyone for for the comments I really you know love hearing from you guys and um, you know I learned a lot from you and really appreciate you all Okay, so next is this uh, North Face jacket. It has a hood and it's a women's uh, size small. And this one was, I noticed, a, I think it had a Goodwill tag on it. So I think it was at the Goodwill stores and it didn't sell, so you know, it, it ended up at the bins. Um, but this jacket, it's kind of like a rain jacket, performance jacket. Yeah, here's the Goodwill. Well, they were trying to sell this jacket for $29.99, and it didn't sell, so. Um, ended up at the bins, so this is a really nice rain jacket, um, and it's in you know really good condition. I might even, you know, put it, um, I might list it for somewhere around 25 or so. We'll see. Okay, I went ahead and picked up this hockey jersey and it's Ohio State uh, has Buckeyes, it's all patches. Very thick, very substantial, um, NCAA has this really interesting little tie detail here at the uh, neckline and um, when I looked it up on uh, I guess it's Zephyr Hockey I looked it up on eBay and it had a pretty good sell-through rate um, and I think you know I might be able to get somewhere anywhere between like 40 and 50 dollars for, for this so I went ahead and picked it up 
and here is a pure gel slim leg um, Pima cotton blend pair of pants stretch pants this these feel really really good like the material is really nice um, and you know I really wasn't sure I picked up a, a bunch of uh, JGL items all in one bin and I kind of went through them all I I'm thinking this might have been the only JGL one that I, I actually picked up I went ahead and looked up all the comps and this one had really good sell through rate so I decided to pick this one up um, you know and then hoping for somewhere around twenty dollars for these so we will see and they're in really good condition so this is cut from the cloth um, tweed little jacket it's a cropped jacket um, really really cute and if you can see the the uh, pattern and the texture it's unlined and I it's a size large the reason why I I picked it up was really because of the cropped style um, also the tweed was really nice you know so I think I think this one will sell just given the factors <laughs> I went ahead and picked this, this dress um, um, <laughs> My daughter is getting married um, in November, Kelsey, and um, I think I have a dress, but I I keep picking up like other dresses just to see. This one I, I don't think is quite right for a mother of the bride, but I thought it was a really pretty dress, so I decided to pick it up. It is, is it uh, Adriana Papel, um, size 10. And it is 100% silk. Really pretty. I love this color. I'm very drawn to this color. It needs a really good steaming or iron, um, but otherwise, really pretty. Pretty dress. Another style piece that I picked up. Um, this one let me see if i i don't even know if i could find a brand on this one it might be nope there's i i don't see a tag at all oh wait there's a tag down here interesting okay this is made in the usa so um and it's a paper tag so this is vintage um size small I, it doesn't have a brand, but it does have the materials and materials tag. But it's a cropped um, Aztec print, southwestern print top with sort of this string back. <laughs> really interesting piece. And I think I mentioned um, that this really lovely couple um, who shop at my bins they're going to be opening up a consignment shop so uh, I don't know this this might be a nice piece to see if they you know I can consign there so anyways just a really interesting piece I also picked up this Betsy Johnson dress uh, this is really this is a really fun dress Let's see what size is this? Maybe I'll, oh, it's a size two. I don't think I, I, I don't think I can fit a size two, but really cute dress. I, I think this is adorable. Look at these sleeves. Just this huge bell sleeve with a ruffle and a ruffle on the bottom. It has a, a waist tie here. So really cute little dress here and it looks and feels like it's you know like in like new condition so again you know I didn't I didn't look this up I just went ahead and picked it up ok 
Okay, last piece. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. So another um, reseller. Uh, he was look. He found these jeans, and he was like, "Oh, I don't. I never heard of this brand called Mech. M E K." So I said, he goes, have you heard of it? Is this a good brand? And I said, oh, I don't know. Let me look it up, you know. And so I looked it up on eBay and um, I said, oh, it looks like it, you know, might get about, it could get somewhere between 20 to, to 40, um, you know, for a pair of jeans like this. And he's like, oh, okay. He goes, oh, do you want them? And I'm like, oh, are you sure? And he goes, yeah, it has some really nice details so I was like oh yeah sure thank you but it has this screen printed on the pocket on the inside so mech voyage um, it also has I don't know this do you see the colorful stitching the rainbow stitching so much detail to these pants here's the pocket it also has the big stitching and Look at this little detail right here. It <laughs> has this colorful string just right here on the um, the button hole. I don't know, just really nice details. It has a straight to slightly flared leg. And the size is, I don't know what size this is. Oh, size 28. So. Anyways, um, you know, a really cute pair of jeans, and I don't know, this, we'll see, you know, where this ends up, if I put it on my, um, in my stores, or if I try to sell it to, um, you know, either consignment or um, buy, sell, trade, so we'll see. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's it for this video, um, and you know, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, um, Please think about subscribing and liking the video and um, you know leave me some comments. I would love to hear from you. Okay, until the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.